everyone, welcome to Dee's Cabbies, Dolls and Toys. I absolutely love MGA. I love MGA Entertainment. I love all the dolls that they produce. You guys know I, I'm always reviewing Rainbow High, L Surprise, L Surprise, OMG, not a surprise. But I have with me today some of the OGs of the MGA brand, and those are the Bratz kids. I do love the Bratz, the original traditional Bratz line, and I do have some of them in my collection. But most of my Bratz dolls are actually Bratz kids. And I'm, I thought it would be fun to share them with you guys. They're so cute. They really, really are. They're so cute and colorful and... I just love them, and I think you guys will too. So if you want to see my Bratz Kids collection, keep watching. Welcome back you guys. Okay, so the Bratz were released in 2001 So they just had their 20th anniversary by MGA. You guys know how much I love MGA in 2006 they came out with another line called Bratz Kids and I'm not sure if the Bratz babies came out uh, before the kids or not I really I, I'm not too sure about that one but the Bratz kids came out in 2006 most of what you see here was released in 2007 but the first edition of the kids came out in 2006 so um, I I have quite a bit here I have um, a few of the dolls out of the box already um, and then the rest are in the box and then I have some fashion packs and stuff so yeah we have a lot of stuff a lot of, I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys today and I'm really excited. I know that I, I did do a, um, a short video a while back and I showed you, you know, my whole collection of, of Bratz dolls. But it was only a couple minute video. This I want you to really, really get a good look at everything because I'm really proud of it. I love the Bratz kids. I think that they are just adorable. So, so cute. And you guys know recently I've been collecting the... Um, a little surprise tweens and I think that's um, MGA's newer version of the Bratz kids it, it's basically the same thing it's the same I think that the dolls are in the same age group you know the tween they're tweens so they're probably like 10 11 12 years of age and they're just so cute and, and they want to be like their you know their older sisters the Bratz <laughs> you know they want to be like the big teenagers so they're just starting to come out with you know their own little fashions and things like that so it's it's fun it's fun to follow so basically what the Bratz kids is it's, it's actually different than the LL Surprise line um, because the LL Surprise tweens are little sisters to the OMG girls but the Bratz kids is different the Bratz kids is the Bratz as kids so it's the same characters. It's Sasha, Chloe, Yasmin, Jade, as as tweens, as kids, you know. So that's where it's a little different, but it's still fun. It 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 doesn't matter. It's it's fun. Both both of them are really really fun. So and I collect them both, and I love them. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer, and I'm gonna show you everything one by one explain what everything is and yeah, I'm so excited <laughs> I have mostly I don't have Jade I don't have any Jade yet as far as the Bratz kids go and um, I'm gonna change that though I've actually been looking online for her because I love Jade what a great character I do I have Chloe Yasmin Sasha I have one Sasha and I believe I have a Dana um, yes, Dana. So it's mostly Chloe and Yasmin, and, and that's simply because they're the easiest to find. You, you know, Bratz kids are, um, they're, they're kind of rare, I guess. Well, Chloe and Yasmin aren't, but the other characters are, so it's harder to find them, and also they're 
they're pretty expensive. So I actually find that the Bratz kids tend to be a more, more expensive than the regular vintage Bratz dolls. At least that's what my, you know, um, that's what I've been finding um, as I'm looking through eBay and Macari and stuff like that. It's just because there's, there's a lot more Bratz than there is kids. And they only, I want to say... They were between 2006 and 2010, I believe, or 2009. So they didn't last as long as the regular Bratz line did. So, and sometimes the spin-offs lines that they they just don't. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I think I just made up a word in the doll community. I didn't make up a word, but I don't know <laughs> if I used it right. But you guys know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this. So this is my um i'm gonna first show you the dolls that are out of the package so this is chloe and i'm not sure what edition she is she might be the first edition i'm not sure she came with an extra outfit and stuff um i unboxed her a while ago but she's so cute you know um she looks just like the the big chloe i think so cute look at the the darker lip liner and then the lighter lips that was such a early 2000s thing. It was, if you look at a lot of the Bratz dolls are like that. Their lips are like that. So she's got some light makeup on, you know, because she's, she's a preteen. She can't have too much makeup on. Her hair is so pretty. She's wearing a little gold earring. So cute. Oh, her hair looks so pretty back like that. Oh, I'm going to have to do something. She has on a totally 2000s outfit. So she's got this long um, skirt. And it's like a velvety material. Really cute. With a belt around the waist. And then she has her um, little, little off-white tank top. And a little jean jacket over it. Totally 2000s. And then she's got these cute little, little um, slipper kind of shoes. I remember she was like that. I don't know what they're what we call them though. And the thing with the brats is um, to change their shoes, you actually change their feet. So their feet, <laughs> their feet come right off. So if you wanted to put another pair of shoes on her, it would be her foot and the shoe. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I think that's so funny. Okay. And then we have this is a Yasmin again. I don't know what edition this is, but. She is different because she's wearing snap-on clothing. Look at this. <laughs> you guys remember the dolls back in the day that, that had the snap-on? There were a lot of dolls when I was a kid that, that their clothes snapped on like this. It's, it's funny. But she's cute. And Yasmin's such a great character. Um, and um, beautiful big brown eyes. She's wearing silver earrings. And she's wearing pink, which I love. And then she's got some little purple shoes. I'm gonna try to go quickly because there's quite a bit here and um, I don't want this. I don't want for you guys. I don't want this to go on forever and ever and ever. So I'm gonna try to get through it quickly. Okay, so those are just the regular, um, you know, basic Bratz kids. I started collecting different lines within this line. Does that make sense? Um, so one that is really fun to me is the Bratz Kids Winter Vacation. And I have, I have three of them. I have Chloe, Yasmin, and Sasha. And oh my goodness, you guys look at, look at how cute is this. Isn't that adorable? It's just, oh my goodness, all the fun colors. And so there, it says... Bratz Kids Winter Vacation, there's no fun like snow fun. So that's the back. You got your Chloe. But there's so much going on here. So she's, you know, dressed up for the winter. She's wearing a scarf and it's a really cute um, pink and blue outfit. Purple boots. And then, of course, she has her... You know, she's got her skis, right? Because she's going to go skiing. And um, they all came with a bonus keychain. Looks like a little, looks like a little penguin. A little pink penguin. I like that. Isn't that cute? And then her, 
her skis right there. And then look at this. Isn't this adorable, this jacket? Oh my goodness, I love that. I so would wear that jacket. It's so cute. And then um, it looks like there's a dress underneath the jacket and it's got it's got a little owl on it i don't know what an owl has to do with anything but it's very cute so yeah it's like a pinkish purple and then she has these really cute like fuchsia pants and it comes with um it comes with an extra pair of, an extra pair of feet <laughs> right there <laughs> Oh, so cute so yeah so it comes with the, the skis the ski poles um, everything now I'm sorry if you guys feel like you're getting gypped with this video um, you know because I'm not unboxing them but the reason why I'm not I'm I think I am gonna unbox something for you guys but um for one the video will be so long and for two these are kind of hard to find um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna find them again like this mint in the box, so I wasn't going to. But I feel bad because I'm looking at it now and I'm like, I don't know if, how well you guys can see this stuff. So this is Yasmin. That was Chloe. This is Yasmin. And she's got a little um, cup of hot cocoa up there. Really cute. Um, and I, I love this little, so it looks like they all come with brushes, right? That's a brush. Do you see it on the side? And then it says kids on the back of it. So cute. But she's wearing her um, boots. And she's got a really cute scarf. And then she has this really sweet outfit on. I love that outfit. I like the, I really like the fashions that they use with the kids. I do. Because they're trendy, but they're still, they're still letting them be kids. And, and this is awesome. I love it. And, um, so, it looks like, I don't know, are these supposed to be, like, oh, loungewear, the second outfits? I don't know. You see that? It's, like, kind of, like, satiny. So, um, it's a blue and pink, like, satiny, almost like a robe. I don't know if these are supposed to be, like, pajamas. And then, she, I, I guess, I'm, I guess it's safe to say loungewear. And then she's got pink pants and see the little princess um, crowns on the bottom of her pants. Can you guys see that? And uh, it says princess. You know what I'm going to do? This is how much I love you guys. I'm going to open her because I want you guys to at least see one of them. At least see see one of this collection because this is really my favorite um collection out of all of them it, i love the winter vacation and um yeah i want you guys to see and i want to see too <laughs> so i'm gonna unbox her and i will be right back here she is so this is our beautiful little yasmin and i love how she's got little braids in the front of her hair isn't that adorable? And I, um, so, yes, yeah, she comes with this brush. And I had to brush her hair. It was a hot mess. Um, because back then, when they were packaging these dolls, they had their hair tied into all the cardboard and stuff and the plastic. And it's just a mess. But I'll get her looking really cute. A little frizzy, too. A little, like, flyaway. But she's adorable, and I'm glad that I, I took her out. I'm not going to do this with all of them, but um, so you get to see, you know, how these sets came and what came with them. So just look at how cute her outfit is. Little, this little um, blue, almost like a, almost reminds me of a sundress. It's wintertime. But, um, but then she's got, you know, her little leggings underneath. Everything matches, and her, her, foot just fell <laughs> her little boots her little snow boots these almost look like Uggs I don't know did we have Uggs back then yeah we did didn't we I think we did have the Uggs back then 2007 yeah right no oh, let me know in the comments but google it <laughs> 
So this is the back of her outfit. Cute. And um, this is the outfit that I really wanted you guys to see. So yeah, so it looks like a little little robe almost. Um, well, back then, they made a lot of jackets like this with the fur collar and the fur at the sleeves. Um, and uh, little snowflakes. Look at it. There's little blue and white snowflakes all over it. So cute. And these pants. These are the pants I was talking about. So um, uh, it doesn't say princess. It says ice. And then the crown, so Ice Princess, I guess, is what they're trying to say. Isn't that cute? I love it. And then she's got the drawstring waist. Okay. And uh, these are her extra feet. Her little extra feet right there. Cute. And then this is her snow tube. She comes with a snow tube. Chloe had uh, skis and she has a little snow tube. Very cute. And this is, um, she has a pink seal, is her keychain. A pink seal. Cute. And then this is her hot chocolate. Isn't that cute? It looks like there's hot chocolate in there with marshmallows. How adorable is that? And yeah, that's it. So that's everything that Yasmin came with. Um, her winter vacation set. That's what everything looks like. Um, oh, and it also came with these little stickers. Isn't that cute? I love it. Um, hopefully you guys like Post Malone because... <laughs> That's what we're hearing in the background. And I don't know why, so we'll just go with that. <laughs> now we're going to take a look at the beautiful Sasha. There she is. And this is the artwork on the back of her box. And she is looking just completely adorable in her pink and uh, like a lime, I want to say like a lime green and pink outfit. She's got cute little jeans on with pink and white cuffs and the cutest little gray boots. Loving her boots. Look at that. Gray and white. Very cute. She comes with extra shoes or extra feet. <laughs> shoes and feet. And um, her little shoes are pink. Oh, look at her little sweatpants. So she has little sweatpants too. And she also has a little, like, robe jacket, I guess we'll call it. Uh, just like Chloe's, except hers is green. And um, in her little dress, the, the bottom part that's like a dress, um, has the owl print on it too. But hers is green and white, and I guess a little blue. And she also comes with pink skis and the pink and gray ski poles. I'm going to go too fast. I want you guys to get a good look at everything. And um, cute little penguin keychain. She comes with. So, yeah. That's everything. Oh, and she also comes with a brush. And a cup of hot chocolate. Do you see that up there? Just like Yasmin's. Very, very cute. I really love this line. I do. It's fun. Very fun line. Um definitely definitely one of my favorites so probably my my absolute favorite but but i like everything else so moving right along we will <laughs> okay okay um i guess i'm gonna do this one this is i only have one of these this is the brats kids costume party and this is yasmin i have a lot of yasmin in my collection um, some of you already know, she's, she's my favorite. I love her. She's just so beautiful. Oh, I just love her. Um, her complexion, her hair, everything. And this one is absolutely beautiful. So, it comes with two complete costumes. The one on her and the one, you know, the extra one. And it looks like an angel and devil kind of 
outfit, right? So what she's wearing is white and gold, and she's got the little harp. Yeah, she looks very angelic. She's wearing pretty gold uh, earrings. You see that? She's got the white and gold ensemble, and even her little harp is white and gold. And uh, she also comes with a brush that says kids, just like the other one. So that must be the thing with the Bratz kids. Just like with Rainbow High and the OMG girls, they all come with brushes. Um, so it looks like, you know, the Bratz kids came with brushes and it appears that they all look the same. And, um, and then we've got her little red outfits, which is very pretty also. I do like the white better. But the red one's very cute. And it looks like she's got little red um, laced up shoe feet. <laughs> we'll just say shoes. Because shoe feet sounds funny. Um, and I don't know. This is going to be hard for you guys to see. And the shoes that she's actually wearing look like almost like sneakers. And they're white and gold. You see that? Yours is gonna answer. <laughs> I hope you guys can see that. I'm getting silly because I'm getting tired. <laughs> it's a little later in the day. But this is very cute. And this is the artwork on the back of this set. I'm showing you guys these because, you know, if you're a collector of the Bratz line or just vintage, you know, dolls and toys in general, this is something that you might want to, you know, look into. Keep doing that. Be right back. Okay. So, anyways, as I was saying, um, you know, sometimes I watch videos, uh, you know, doll, doll tubers, I guess that's what they're called. Um, they're toy tubers. And I watch other videos because a lot of times I'll go looking for specific dolls and I want to see the unboxing, the reviews, and things like that. But sometimes, I go looking just to see what's out there, what's out there now, what used to be out there, you know, um, because I don't know everything that's been done and, you know, so I'll be watching these videos and that's how I found out about the Bratz Kids. That's how I found out. That's how I find out about a lot of my Polly Pocket stuff, all the vintage ones and stuff. And cabbies, yeah, Some videos, um, you know, other collectors. Okay, so... We have, let's see, what else do we have here? So we have, um, I don't know what edition this is, but this is just the regular Bratz Kids uh, Yasmin. And it says, before they were Bratz, they were Bratz Kids. The kids with a passion for fun. So that's a little tagline with them. Uh, sorry that I didn't mention that earlier, but the Yasmin is so pretty. Um, and on the back it says, Bratz kids, how do Bratz babies become Bratz? Well, that answers the question that I asked in the beginning. So, Bratz babies came before the kids. Okay. Um, well, yeah, that, <laughs> that makes sense. Right? Um, but, yeah, they, they were, um, you know, that edition was released before the kids. So, Bratz kids know it's a little bit of practice and a whole lot of fun. And that is Yasmin. How oh, pretty she is. Such a sweet girl. Okay, um, so she's wearing this really cute outfit, you guys. Look at that. I love the pink and the black. I noticed that there's a lot of pink in, in, in this line, in the Bratz kids. I'm, I'm noticing that. And it's funny because I'm acting like I never saw these before. They've been in my collection for a while, but, you know, I'm... I probably haven't seen them like really looked at them like this closely in a while so this is fun so thanks guys this is why I love doing the videos for you guys because I it, it's like a reason for me to stop worrying about bills and adulting stop adulting for a little bit and take a break and go into my collection and embrace that inner child you know and I love it I love it love it and you know this is a perfect reason excuse whatever you want to call it for me to do that you know I'm sharing it with you guys and 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm making sure that I'm taking a break and I'm, I guess we call it, um, uh, what's the word that they use? Making time for yourself basically is what I mean. And it's very important. It really is. And it doesn't matter if it's this hobby or it, hobbies are so good. And I tell you guys this all the time. It's so, so good to have hobbies. And this is just the one that I chose that I prefer that I love. This is the one that makes me so, so happy, but any hobbies are good. It's so important to take a break for your mental health. That's basically what I was saying. You have to take time for yourself. And this is just, I can't think of a better way for me anyway. <laughs> so anyways, let's get back to this girl. So she is so adorable. And I love her skirt. It looks like she's she's going to like a little dance or something, right? Like she's going to, it almost reminds me of like, um, a uh, 1950s poodle skirt, but with a uh, yeah, a tropical Caribbean kind of flair, I guess, with the print and everything. Very pretty. And then her second outfit is really neat. So she's got a little black tank top, and um, the thing with Yasmin is she. Uh, I know there's a lot of references to like princess and stuff with her, and I don't know, is that? Is that like a crown or something? I don't know. It looks really pretty though. It's silver and you know, it's, it's black with silver um, design on it. And then she's got these really cute jeans. Now remember, this is 2007, right? 2006, 2007. So we're still doing like the flare legs and the bell bottoms and things like that. And then it looks like a almost like a little skirt that goes around the waist of the jeans you see that it's like a little it's not a straw I almost said straw skirt but it's not straw it's actually threads it's so cute and it's pink and red oh I love it yeah this is really nice this is this is this is awesome she is so pretty I love ya ya Yasmin very much okay moving along what do we have next uh, let's do something different so this is brat's boys and i want to say he came out in 2007 too but i'm not positive um and he is this is cameron and he has the snap-on clothes so his look at his hairstyle i love his hair it's so cute this is a really cool um this was such a 2000s hairstyle. I remember this hairstyle so well. And he's got the big blue eyes. I love his, the outfit that he's wearing is super cute. So he's got a long sleeve white tee and um, a red button down over it. And this was so trendy back then. And then he has these really cute blue jeans on and um, his, you know, traditional sneakers and and then his outfit over here is cute too. Just a little blue t-shirt and brown pants. Does he come with extra feet? No, he doesn't come with extra feet. And then this is um, the, the artwork on the back. And it says, Brats, boys, kids, it's a snap. Because <laughs> it's the snap on clothes. But Cameron was honestly the only boy that I can even think of his name. So he was pretty popular. All right, and I only have one in this line. I love this line, and I need to find more of this. This is very expensive. This is a Bratz Kids Summer Vacation, and this is Chloe. So, yeah, this is a close second to the winter vacation because look at how beautiful that is. Oh, my goodness. This makes me want to go to Florida, like, right now. <laughs> So look at even the artwork and the packaging is so cute. You can see palm trees and sunshine and it's just so fun. And then there she is, it's Chloe on the front, the artwork, and she looks like she's having so much fun. Um I love this though. She has a towel 
and it looks like a real terry cloth you know towel and a visor there's a lot going on in this one a lot so it says um chloe summer sun accessories she's got a little pineapple cup and then it looks like a water bottle and maybe some sunscreen maybe oh the pink maybe some sunscreen and then she has a little uh, pink and black looks like a bathing suit yeah oh uh, that's pink and blue actually pink and blue bathing suit i'll tilt it this way so you can see better she has um extra feet and they're not even shoes they're actual feet <laughs> she can go barefoot um and she has a if you look down here where the towel is a a blue a light blue beach bag that matches her towel and then her visor matches kind of matches her towel in her outfit and then there she is she is stunning oh my goodness her hair is so golden and pretty look at that and I love her blue shades she's got little silver earrings beautiful big blue Chloe eyes that we love and she's got a really cute tank top on. Looks like an, a rainbow going through clouds with lightning. Whole lot going on. Really cute little pink skirt. And what is this? Oh, a frisbee. Oh, this little green and yellow. That's a frisbee. It's too cute. And again, the Bratz Kids brush right there. I'm trying to um, turn this so that you guys can see everything. Because obviously you can't see it as well as I can. And then this is really cute too. So on the top of the package is a little keychain and it's a snow cone. And I guess that's for you to keep. So yeah. I think I showed you guys everything. And here is the beautiful artwork on the back. It says, um, Kid, Bratz Kids Summer Vacation, School's Out, Have Fun, Fun, Fun in the Summer Sun. Pretty awesome. Yes, I need to get more and I need to get the other girls that come in this line. I love this line so much. It's just super cute. Okay. And next we have one more um addition to go through and then I'll show you the Bratz Kids fashion packs that I have. So this is another one that it's you know it's funny because i say oh this is my favorite this is my favorite and then it, the more that comes at me i'm like well maybe this is my favorite <laughs> okay so we'll start off with yasmin this is the brass kids horseback fun now all of these came out in the same year um from from what i've you know read and seen so that's interesting. They did a lot in 2007, a lot. So it comes with two complete outfits, cool riding accessories. Um, we have, it's not a real horse, it's artwork of a horse, but the packaging is beautiful. Now, I have to say this. My son's being silly over there. <laughs> <Don't do anything. laughs> so I have, sorry guys. So I have to say this. Um, this is, they just do such an amazing job with the packaging. I mean, this is 2007. MGA is the same company that does the breasts, that does the LL Surprise, that does the Rainbow High. And I always brag about the packaging with them, with all of the new, you know, doll lines that are out right now that MGA does. And this is almost 20 years ago, and they were nailing the packaging back then. So, they're just, they are just everything. They really, really are. Because I go in the store, and I see something like this. Even if it's a doll line that I've never collected before, I'm going to pick this up. I mean, this is beautiful. Really. And, and the doll, the... Um, you can tell how good the quality of the clothing is and then you know all the artwork the way that they design this it's just beautiful and that is what makes it hard for me sometimes 
to unbox this stuff. Well, for one, I don't know if I'm going to find it again, like I said earlier, but it just looks so pretty just like this. The only thing I do not like about the brats is that there's no stands. So the dolls that MJ is making today, they make sure that they send them with stands. And um, it's so important when you're a collector to have stands. So that's another reason why I like to keep a lot of them in the box because they just display so nicely like this, but it's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so, oh my goodness, I just don't even know where to start. So first, let's look at the hat. That hat is just, OMG, like that's adorable, adorable. I would wear this exact outfit that she has and I don't know how good I look <laughs> But I would definitely wear it. So, um, she has a little ribbon on her shirt that says first. So, she obviously won first place, right? In a little riding competition. Um, and the outfit is just so cute. The jean and plaid skirt. The little um, button-down white shirt with the little pink sweater over it. Her purse matches her skirt. She's got the cutest riding boots. Look at those boots, you guys. Pink and brown, little riding boots. Oh my goodness, adorable. And then she has um, an extra pair of boots over here. And these are beige and pink. And then her second outfit is adorable too. Um, so it's a white jacket with little pink pants. Oh my goodness. And then back there, you can see the brush. And then up here, um, it looks like um, the little riding stick that they, you know, hold on to. And um, I think, what's that for? <laughs> I think that's what that's for. And then they have the little pail with the, um, um, the berries that they feed, or the apples that they feed the horse. You see that and there's actual apples in the bucket you can see the apples this is just too cute so um this is the artwork on the back it says saddle up and have a galloping good time love it love it love it all right and then we have dana dana same thing, horseback fun. Oh, she is too cute. This is the first time I've seen Dana. Well, not to, but this is the first Dana that I have in my collection. So, super cute. Um, same accessories. Um, her boots are cute, not as cute as, as Yasmin's, but the pink ones are. The second set is really cute, and I love her second outfit. Oh, that is too sweet. The pink jacket, riding jacket, and the blue pants. Oh my goodness, so cute. This is really making me want to unbox these. <laughs> and I love her hat. Her hat is really cute. Oh, these hats are adorable. Her hair is in two braids. I love that. And silver earrings. Her, um, again, her little purse matches her outfit. This is really, really cute. Okay, now let's take a look at the last one, which is Chloe. Oh, my goodness. So cute. Look at this. So, I love Chloe's skirt. Look at that. And the skirt matches her, um, her shirt so well. I mean, there's two. I don't always like when they have print and print, but... Is this, well, I guess the shirt's not really too much of a print, but there's a lot going on, but it still looks really cute together. And then, um, she's got the black, black and green riding boots. Let's see that. And then this is her second pair, blue and pink, to match the outfit, her second outfit. Her second outfit, um, actually, they made the purse, her purse match the second outfit. The second outfit is pink and black and uh, a little bit of white in there. So yeah, awesome. This is her artwork. Very, very cute. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. To get a good look at her. And again, adorable hat. Their hats are different, but they're all really, really cute. Okay. 
I guess that is it for um, my dolls. So all we have left is the fashion packs. So I was lucky enough to get them in the display box, you know, that they were displayed in at the store, which is always fun to have stuff like this in your collection. Um, so the first fashion pack we have this says it's for Chloe and Jade, and it looks like that's an image of, that's a drawing of Jade. And um, it says school time. That is very cute. I love that sweater. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love the sleeves on it so much. And then the skirt is really cute too. Oh, and they come with shoes. So the fashion bags each come with shoes. I like the bag, everything matches very well. Yeah, very cute. And then we have um, a wintertime one. And this says, oh, it doesn't say who it's for. Okay. So this is a wintertime one. Oh, this is too cute. Now, even though these are from, you know, 2006, 2007, I could, I could see people wearing this kind of stuff right now. Um, because it's, it's kind of classic. It's cute. I love it. I love how the leggings are so colorful but they still you know they're busy that's what i want to say they're very busy but they go nicely with everything else the skirt and the sweater and oh those are really cute boots very cute okay and then okay so those two the other two in there are identical to the two that i just showed you so we actually only have one more and this says it's for Chloe and Jade. And it's this one is party time. So that is really cute. It's very glitzy and fancy. So see, it's a, a black halter with um, gold sequins. And then her jeans are so cute. Look at the little butterfly on there. And it's, um, the belt is silver with in, in, in glittery and shimmery and shiny. And then her purse, she's got an animal print purse with a chain, silver chain. Very cute. And then her little strappy sandals. I love the pants. You see how they're bunched on the bottom? So cute. I love them. So 2000, very fun. So, that is everything. Uh, this was a long one, but it was a fun one. I really enjoyed this so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to do this kind of stuff a little more often. You know, go into my vintage stuff, you know, because I do a lot of, I do a lot of vintage cabbie things, but as far as other doll lines and stuff, I kind of stick to what's in now modern stuff but I know that a lot of us really um, get nostalgic and we, we want to embrace that you know nostalgia it's fun it's it's fun to look back especially when you're looking back into your childhood and stuff and um, you know I think that it'll be fun for you guys and for me if at least maybe once a week or once every couple weeks I go in into my collection and pull out some retro stuff you know I have some old strawberry shortcake Polly pocket um tons of old cabby stuff you know so I I have a lot a lot of things that I can bring up and, and show you guys and I think that'll be a lot of fun let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this um what which set that you saw was your favorite and you guys know what my favorites are even though i kind of changed it a few times <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching um please don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, i will see you in the next video bye